Okay, so that's part that it word is going to be a pouring out of God's spirit. Okay, a pouring out okay, of God's spirit. And we're going to be talking about revival. Okay, so how I got this word is yesterday I was reading Acts and I was reading um, Acts chapter 10. And in Acts chapter 10, it says in verse 44, it says, while Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. Okay. It says, while Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. Okay. Okay. So what happens here is, okay. God has sent Peter to minister to people of another nation. Okay. A different nation from him. Okay. And it says, while Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. Okay. Okay. So God was just ministering to me and emphasizing to me okay that in this hour god is now okay going to be doing a pouring out of his spirit there's going to be a pouring out of god's spirit okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to read the revelation that god gave me okay so if you see me looking down okay i'm looking at my notes okay so God gave me that God is saying there is about to be a pouring out of okay, a pouring out of his spirit upon the earth. Okay. God is saying that there is about to be a pouring out of his spirit upon the earth. Okay. He showed I, I, I say also God gave me a vision. I say, and he showed me his hand holding a okay. He showed me his hand holding a sinister and it was pouring. Okay. Holding a cistern, okay, and it was pouring, okay, and God said revival, and the day I say revival, okay, and revival is the definition of revival is an important, it is an improvement in the condition or strength or something. It is the uh, an improvement in the condition or strength of something. Okay, it also means an instance of something becoming popular, active or important again it also means an instance of something becoming popular active or important again it means to come back okay a bringing back okay thank you lord hallelujah and god is saying thank you lord in the name of jesus god is saying he's restoring order and the other day i say at this time in the name of jesus hallelujah god is saying he's restoring order okay and the day i say thank you father hey so there is going to be a pouring of god's spirit upon his children upon the earth hey thank you god god is saying getting things in order and the other day i say thank you getting things back in order and the other day i say a restart a reset glory hallelujah lord hallelujah and the other day i say all glory belongs to you father in the name of jesus thank you lord hey so god is speaking of um thank you lord god is saying a divine reset thank you father hallelujah a divine reset okay so god is saying revival Hey, and God is saying revival is getting ready to take place for the body of Christ. Okay, hey, revival is getting ready to take place for the body of Christ. And God speaks of a uplifting, okay, hey, a uplifting of many, okay, hey, I say, of many, okay, hey, I say, and God said he's uplifting from the valley, okay, hey, he said uplifting from the valley, I say, okay, I say, and God also speaks of that at this hour, there's going to be an uplifting uplifting of many and uplifting from the valley a eh? uplifting his children from the valley a eh? he talks about leveling leveling planes and pathways okay eh? he says raising up highways okay eh? and he was referring me okay eh? to that scripture and the other day i said so god referred me to isaiah chapter 49 okay eh? let me go to it yeah, da, 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 I say Isaiah 49, and I want to read verses 8 through 13. And it says, Thus says the Lord, in a time of favor, I have answered you. In a day of salvation, I have helped you. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people to establish, to establish the land, to apportion the desolate heritages. Okay, to apportion the desolate her heritages. 
saying to the prisoners, come out to those who are in darkness up here. They shall feed along the ways on all bare heights shall be their pasture. They shall not hunger or thirst, neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them and by springs of water will guide them. And I will make all my mountains a road and my highways shall be raised up. I say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And God is saying, continue to read. So it says in Isaiah chapter 49, verse 12, behold, these shall come from afar and behold, these from the north and from the west and these from the land of Syene. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exalt, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing, for the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his afflicted. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I say, so God is affirming to us that he's going to have compassion on his children and he will be lifting us up, lifting them up out of the valley. I say, restoring them in the name of Jesus, setting things back in order. Eh. Thank you, Lord. Eh. So God is saying uh, he's doing a new thing. Okay. He says he's doing a new thing. Do you now? Okay. He says, do you not perceive it? Okay. So in Isaiah chapter um, 49, verse 19, it says, behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Okay. And rivers in the desert. Okay. So God is also speaking of that. He's going to be um going before us. Okay. And leveling. Okay. Leveling planes. Leveling it out. Okay. Lifting up. Raising up his highways. Okay. And today I say God is going before us. Okay. He says making straight your way. Hey. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. God is saying he's making straight eh, your paths, your way. Glory, Father. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So some further verification eh, of God going before us and leveling the plans before us. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to Isaiah 45 and I'm going to actually read verse 13 and it says, I have stirred him up in righteousness, and I will make all his ways level. He shall build my city and set my ex house free, not for price or reward, says the Lord of hosts. I said, Glory be to God. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. So God is saying he's doing a new thing. He Akaye, a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Akaye. God talks about Akaye. He says, Through him. All things were made, created, and completed. Hey, God is saying that through God, through him, all things were made, created, and completed. Akaye. So God is also speaking of a finishing of work. Akaye. God said a finishing of work. Akaye. He says sure to see it to completion. Hey, so God is saying he's sure to see his, his work that he's doing. Hey. To completion, he says, sure to see it to completion. And God says, He is God. Hey, God says, He is God. Who is like me? I said, Yeah, God says, Who were you liking me to? Akaye. God says, He is God. Hey, who were you liking him to? Thank you, Jesus. And Isaiah chapter 40, verse 25, it says, To whom will you liken me? Or who is my equal? Access the Holy One. Akaye. To whom will you liken me? Or who is my equal? Akaye. X is the Holy One. Yeah, da, 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 I say. So God is talking about who will you compare him to? Hey, God is assuring us that he made, he created, and he's going to bring to completion. In the name of Jesus, God is saying he is God in the name of Jesus. Okay, hey, who will you liken me to? Glory be to God. Hey, so God speaks of, God also goes on to continue to speak of his exhaustion. His exhaustion, okay, hey, God says he will be exalted in all of the earth, okay, hey. He speaks of breaking the floodgates, uh, opening of the floodgates of heaven. Oh, do, 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 I say for his children. Yeah, do, 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 I say, um, 
He speaks of it being a long time coming and a breaking forth, Akaye. And God speaks of stepping on the enemy's head in this hour, Akaye. God is speaking of you stepping on the enemy's head in this hour. And he says, bruising the head of the enemy, Akaye. He says, for God's glory, eh? For God's glory, God says he, Akaye, his will will be fulfilled. God said his will will be fulfilled and will not return unto him, boy. Akaye. And he said, Jehovah Jireh, Selah. I say. For confirmation, God gave me Isaiah chapter 55, verse 11 to read. And it says, so, sh so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. In the name of Jesus.